In this video, we shoot an ILS approach into Nice, and I'm going to show you how it's done. That's coming up next. Hello, some pilots, and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. We are in the Flyberwire A32 NX again, and today is an ILS tutorial. We are currently in French airspace, flying from Paris to Nice. We are cruising at flight level 350, and we need to set up the approach. So let's do that now and then we will discuss what an ILS approach is all about. So to get set up for the approach, the first thing we want to do is check the ATIS at our destination airport. So let's head over to the MCDU and do that. Go to ATSU, AOC menu, weather request. We're going to request the META from our destination so we can just send that there and it's going to give us the meta for our departure our arrival and our alternate so we wait a few seconds and we will see company message displayed over there so we can go back check received messages and here's our departure and our arrival and if you scroll down you can get the alternate as well so what we're looking for is here wind 360 at six knots visibility more than 10 kilometers Few clouds at 2,000, scattered 5,000, broken 16,000, temperature 21, 2.18, QH1015. So, with that, winds are from 360 at 6 knots, so winds are coming from the north to the south at 6 knots. So, we need to bring up our Navigraph charts and choose our arrival. We have a look at the airport layout for Nice. You can see we have runway 04 left and right and 22 left and right. So because the winds are coming from the north and we want to land into the wind, we want to land on either runway 04 left or 04 right. So what we'll do is we'll choose 04 right as it looks like it's the slightly longer runway. So our approach is going to be an ILS approach. So we'll choose ILS 04 right, which is that one over there. Now we'll go through what this chart means, but for now let's just program the MCDU. So it's going to be ILS 04 right and our arrival is going to be our last waypoint is Nisar. So it's going to be the Nisar arrival, probably that one. Nisar to our initial approach fix which is there so Nisar we can do either one so back to the MCDU flight plan destination arrival ILS 04 right Nisar 7 Tango Nisar 7 Tango arrival via Mark Uniform Sierra ILS 04 right, Nissan 7 Tango arrival via Mike Uniform Sierra. So we'll insert that. Right, once that's done, we can go ahead and set up the performance page for the arrival. So next phase, approach. The Q&H we said was 1015. Temperature 21. Wind 360 at 6. The transition altitude for this approach, if we check on our charts, it is 5,000 feet. So we can put that in there 5,000 feet. Our minimums are going to be 260 feet. So we can put that in there 260. Learning config full. So that's the approach setup. Now that we have that set up, we can discuss what is an ILS approach. An ILS or an instrument landing system is a radio navigation system that provides guidance to aircraft that will allow them to approach a runway in bad weather or at night before they have the runway in sight. An ILS basically consists of two directional radio signals. One is the localizer, which provides lateral guidance and the other is the glide slope which provides vertical guidance. 
These signals are displayed to the pilots in the cockpit as pointers on the primary flight display. The relationship between the aircraft and the signals is shown as a deviation either left or right of the localizer as well as above or below the glide slope. If the marker is to the left of sensor, you are to the right of the localizer. If the vertical marker is below the sensor, you are above the glide slope. If it's above the sensor, you are below the glide slope. The, the pilot should adjust his position to keep the marker centered during the approach. This can be done by manual control of the aircraft or the autopilot can be set up to fly the approach down the runway. Usually down to the minimum approach altitude unless an auto land is being performed, but that is a video for another day. So let's have a look at a, a ILS approach chart and what it displays. We won't go through the whole chart in detail, just the basics to perform the approach. So if I bring up the ILS approach for the arrival we're going to do now, here we can see all the information it displays. So if we start at the top, that is the airport we are going to. This is the approach chart, it's the ILS or localizer for runway 04 right. Here we have all frequencies that are going to be required for the approach for air traffic control. Here we have the localizer frequency 110.7. This is the frequency that you would tune into the navigation radio. The Airbus A320 Neo does this for you automatically. You just confirm it on the MCDU. This is the final approach course. You'd fly down to the runway. Your minimums you would see here. So here you would descend to 260 feet. If you descend to 260 feet and you cannot see the runway environment, you do a missed approach. The missed approach would be climbing straight ahead at D1.4 NA, turn right, max 200 knots onto radial 117 Alpha Zulu Romeo, radial 113 Charlie Golf Sierra if Alpha Zulu Romeo VRR is out of service. Then climbing to 3000 feet to nearest, at nearest left 087 to join the holding. So basically this is what's showing you here. You'd missed approach, join 117 to Nero's and hold. So this is the plan view of the approach. You can see here you join the ILS at 4000 feet where you would begin your descent down to 3000 feet and then all the way down to the runway. Here is a side on view of that same thing. So 4000 feet descending to 3000 feet 041 all the way down to your runway over there. The, the runway elevation is 10 feet. Over here it shows the lights and must approach. So we'll have rail lights and there's a puppy on the right hand side of the runway. And then here's your must approach altitudes over here. So that's the basics of the ILS. Now to get to this point over here, You'd normally follow either a standard terminal arrival route or you would be vectored by air traffic control. For us we chose a standard terminal arrival route and the one we're using is the Nisar 7 Romeo. So from Nisar below flight level 340 we're going to descend to Tupac, to Amfo, to Tupic and then to Mike Uniform Sierra which is the NDB over here and then if we go to the Next one, which is over there, from Mike Uniform Sierra, you'd be radar vectored to the final approach, which would be here. So we've begun our descent from flight level 340 at Nisar, down to below 320 at Zerbi, then to Dotig, then we need to be below flight level 240 but above flight level 200 by VDIC. So I'm going to set 200 in the altitude window as we head to VDIC. Okay, so we're coming up to the waypoint VDIC at flight level 200. So our next waypoint is AMFO at below flight level 160 and then TIPIC at flight level 120 max 250 knots. So I'm going to set flight level 120 and continue to the descent. So AMFO we need to be below 160 
and tipic at flight level 120 so we'll go to flight level 120 and we'll slow down to 250 knots before we get to tipic okay here we're coming up through mfo at 14 at flight level 140 continuing down to flight level 120 Okay, we're going to slow down to 250 knots to be at 250 knots by tipic tipic i think i left a, i think i left it a bit late there to slow down but anyway tipic at flight level 120 and then we continue the descent down to flight level 080 by mike uniform sierra right there's 250 knots at flight level 120 to Tepic. Now we're going to turn right to go to Mark Uniform Sierra and continue the descent down to 8,000 feet. Right, so we've passed 10,000 feet so what we can do is we can turn on the landing lights, turn on the fasten seatbelt signs, we can also turn on the landing system which what it does is it gives you your vertical and lateral guidance once we join the ILS. So after waypoint Mike Uniform Sierra, we're going to turn left and descend down to 4,000 feet, which is our altitude which we will join the ILS. Alright, let's continue our descent down to 4,000 feet. There we can see the runway up in the distance. There the localizers come in, so we're still waiting for the glide slope. There's your lateral guidance. There we can see ILS Cat 1, runway 04 right. There the glide slope has come in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the approach. There localizer is armed, glide slope is armed. Coming up to the initial approach fix, where we'll start a left turn towards the runway. We don't have the runway in sight because of the clouds. There the localizer is armed and it's come in. Glide slope is coming down. There glide slope starts, so glide slope is armed. We we'll sort of see the runway through the clouds. There we're beginning our descent towards the runway. So I'm going to set flaps two. Continuing the descent, we're a little bit fast, there we go, speed's coming back now, just going to use a little bit of speed brake, to bring the speed back, we are 11 nautical miles out from the runway, glide slope is captured, localizer is captured, ok we put the speed brakes back in, Still got visual with the runway. Going to select, select flaps 3. Put the landing gear down. Turn on the fast, turn on the landing lights. Ding the cabin. There we have the runway in sight. Coming up through six nautical miles, two thousand feet. Let's select select flaps full. feet we are stable
Minimum. Minimum, so I just collect autopilot. We are down. Reverse thrust. Manual braking. And we will vacate the runway on the left hand side here. So there you have it guys, that's an ILS approach in Tunis. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for the next one. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.